Hello guys, and this is the Drifting Lemur. This is gonna be my first voiceover, so please tell me how I do and if I need to change anything. So today, I'll be showing you guys how to unlock the secret cow level in Minecraft Dungeons. In the background, there's some gameplay of the secret level. So, first of all, to unlock these rooms, you have to beat the game in default mode. So make sure you beat the Arch Illager on Obsidian Pinnacle in default. If not, you're not going to find the rooms. So, how do you say get this cathedral? Because first of all, you do have to get the cathedral. I'll be showing that in the end of the video. So before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe. That I would appreciate it very much. Anyway, let's start. Alright guys, so we are in currently in Creeper Woods, and here, the road is really close by. First of all, you're gonna have to get to this place where you have to free five villagers, which is pretty easy. But you're gonna come across some villagers, which might be a little challenging. So, I'm gonna free the villagers, you really don't have to, but I'm going to just for me good measure. I'll be back once I free them all. So now that all the villagers have been freed, we are now good to go to get the secret level. So, you're gonna go ac come across the supply chest, go down this cobblestone path. So yeah, go down the cobblestone path, go across, you're gonna find some villagers, you're gonna come across this weird bridge looking thing. You're gonna go on the bridge looking thing, and then go down onto the middle. The middle will fall, and then they'll unlock you the secret room location can travel then boom room number one yay okay you're gonna have to press the button wait a bit to collect the room but since I have done this before it's not gonna show for me I was too lazy to get a new character and I'm stuck am I can I get out of here I don't think so okay well so that's the first room down on to the next one Can I get out of here? Uh, I'm really not sure. I guess I'm just going to go back to camp. Alright guys, so we are currently in Pumpkin Pasture. We're close to the next room. I'm going to have to fight these mobs first. Okay, screw you, spider. Um, I don't like it. Oh no, not another one-shot boy. Mr. Geomancer. Uh, got wet. Oh no. Um, okay. Kill that. Okay, let's just quickly shadow form away. Okay, so you're gonna want to go across this ravine here. Then you're not going to go straight. Do not go straight. Okay, so instead you're gonna go up this ledge. Well, I went down the ledge, but just so I could fight these mobs. Okay, so you're gonna want to go up this area, right? So you're gonna go across, kill the mobs, then go across the ravine. Then kill more mobs. Then don't go straight. Instead, you're gonna go up this ledge, kill zombies because they're easy to kill. Then you're gonna go up the staircase and then go across this tower thing. No, it's fourth wall. Then there's gonna be some boxes. It's gonna be button on the top boxes. So go to the top boxes and press the button and boom. Next room location. So that's the second one down. Remember. It looks like this to me because I've already gone the room. It's gonna look a little different. Okay, next one. First time for room number three. Alright guys, so unfortunately for this one you do have to fight the boss in Soggy Swamp, so I'll fight the boss and I'll be back. Okay, so the boss is dead. Ooh, nice. Fangs of Frost, level 110. Okay, so you're going to want to go to the end, but do not press the door to victory. Do not. Instead, you want to go to these rooms. There's going to be a mushroom with a button. Press the patches of mushrooms near the rune. 
Then boom, that'll unlock you to the next rune location. Let me get rid of this golem real quick because he's pretty annoying. Okay, so there is the rune location. So boom, that is Soggy Swamp done. Yay, okay. Now I'm going to end this level and I'll be back in Redstone Mines. See you guys in Redstone Mines. All right, so we're currently back in Redstone Mines. So here, as you can see, I'm in the area where I have to free six villagers and left behind. So this one, it's pretty simple. You just go to the back corner and then you're gonna, first of all, there's gonna be some batches of redstones. You're gonna want to go to this batch of redstone near this corner. There's gonna be a button in this batch of redstone I'm spinning at. You want to press that button. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so press the rune and boom. Nice. Next rune time. Now I have to go to the second hardest level, Fiery Forge. By the way, these rune locations are really good places to gain some health and to hide. So we're back in Fiery Forge. Luckily this one's at the very beginning. You're gonna have to go through some mobs. Once I'm gone through these mobs, I'll be back. So we have currently entered the forge. For this one, you're gonna come across this fallen golem. Then you're going to want to go to the lever at this corner over here you're gonna it's gonna say push you're gonna want to push the lever or, or technically pull it but so you're gonna get the rune yay so that's the fire forge rune done get your rune and then either c continue the lever level or exit you can exit it's fine so again go to the golem and press lever, lever done Okay, so we are in Cacti Canyon. This level is pretty hard at the beginning because there's a lot of illagers. But the more you go through the level, there's going to be more undead mobs, which are pretty easy. Just don't get hit by the husks. They're pretty hard to kill. So, I'm going to go get to the uh, room location. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. So we are currently at the area where we can unlock the rune location. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to deal with these mobs. So, once I have dealt with them, I'll be back. Now that the mobs are dead, you're going to want to go to this puddle of water over here. And behind this palm tree, there's going to be a button. Press the button, and then you are going to get ambushed. So, first of all, fight the ambush. I'll be back once I've defeated the ambush. Alright, so the ambush has been defeated. So, you see the blue key, right? You're going to go behind the blue key, and then you're going to go get your rune. That's simple. So... I think there's three runes left. Yeah, Desert Temple High Block. Yeah, three runes left. So, I'll be back at the Desert Temple. As a repeat, go to this puddle of water near the palm trees. Go to the water. Behind the palm tree, there will be a button. Press the button. Fight the ambush. Go behind the blue key, and there will be the rune. Time to go to Desert Temple. So we're at Desert Temple. I'm going backwards because I actually missed it. So well, you're going to come across a place where you have to get a gold key. So you're going to want to, first of all, go to the area to get the gold key. Then you're going to want to power a beacon. 
Once you power the beacon, you the lo walls will be lowered, and then you can collect the key. Once you collect the key, go behind this bush. There's going to be a lever. Pull the lever, and then there will be the next room location. Oh, God, that Vanguard's fast. Did you see him? That's a fast boy. Okay. So, that's the next room. Time to go to High Block Halls. As a repeat, go into the bush and then pull the lever. Alright, so we're now in High Block Halls. There's going to be an ambush before you can get to the room, so just a warning. I'll be back once I'm at the ambush. So I am now fighting the final wave of the ambush, and the rune location here is actually in the outside area of high block halls. So technically the middle area. So this, so once you defeated the ambush, continue going through the objective. I'll be back once I'm at the outside area. Alright, so now we're at the gate to the outside area. You're gonna first of all get your golden key at the front. What? Where's the golden key? I swear, every time I got in a high block calls, there's always a golden key here. What? Did they change something? I really don't know. Anyway, so you're gonna go right across this dirt path. I'm not because I'm going the long way. Then you're gonna go up these staircases, go across this area, and then there's gonna be a lever. You're gonna pull the lever. So, let's go to the lever, then boom, lever, target area, go to the target area, then go up, that's also another way, then boom, rune. So that's the eighth rune down, time for the final rune. So as a repeat, you're going to want to first of all, get your key, if there is a key, then you're going to want to go down the steps, take a right to the dirt path, then go up the staircases, go across, and then boom. I will now demonstrate it in the game. So we're now at Obsidian Pinnacle. For this room, you are going to have to fight a Redstone Golem and another mini boss. You're going to have to fight these bombs first so they don't annoy me at the Golem fight. So once they're defeated, I'll be back. That was quick. So after this, you're going to want to go to the Golem. You don't even have to fight. Just go around the corners and boom. You can just skip it. But I'm going to fight it for good measure. So once he's defeated, I'll be back. Just a warning, I do get hit, so this is not a no hit. Fortunately, yeah, I do get hit. It's tough times, whatever. I'll be back once he's defeated. Oh, two big boys now. Two redstone golems. Okay, this could be bad. The golems defeated, you can now continue to get your rune. You want to go with the objective route, then you're going to go down to this basement area. There will be a mini boss, so be ready. Luckily, I did get an Enderman, one of the easier, easier mini bosses. So luckily, he also did the aggro, so he didn't have to deal with him. So continue going with the objective route, then you're going to come across this long hallway. Continue. Then, then the next big room, that's where the room will be. Over here at this bar, you want to go up here to the bookshelves. 
you're gonna press some of the bookshelves. I don't know which one, but one of them does allow you access to the secret room area. And then here, unlike the others, you do not travel. It's just an extra area. There's gonna be a chest, an obsidian chest, where I'm spinning. Get your rune, and that's the last rune. After that, it's just time to get the cathedral. So, we're at the final area where you have to get the cathedral. For this one, warning, you do have to fight the arch illager before you can get the cathedral. So, beat the game on default. Then you're going to go across these piston jumpers. Then you're going to come across this area with another portal. There's also going to be a path, which is pretty hidden. So, you want to go here, where I'm going. There's going to be a hidden path. Go across this hidden path. You're going to find the way to the cathedral. There's going to be a lever. I recommend pulling the lever so you can get the drawbridge to lower so it's easier for you to get to the cathedral. Then you're going to have to go all the way across the edge to the cathedral, which is, I think, a memory for Mojang developers. Then here, you can unlock the secret level. But first, you have to pull press and insert your runes before you can get this. There's going to be a secret level paper at this pedestal and some chests. That is the end of the video. I'm pretty sorry if I did stutter. I'm not really a talkative person. Please tell me how you thought of this and if I should improve. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Again, I'm not a talkative person and I stuttered. Please give me some feedback to how I can improve. Thank you. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content.